Hello, we're talking to Simona Palladino about the research she's done with the Italian community in Newcastle. Now, talking about this research, how many, how big is your research group? Right, yeah. the group itself um, is a, of about 60 people, but I conducted in-depth and semi-structured interviews only with 27 that are my formal participants. Although being the uh, research methodology and ethnography means that I've spent it so many times with them in their houses, in their social place where I used to gather, I've cooked with many of my participants and all of these generated the, the outcome of my research project. And that's what we're really interested in. What has been your findings from right. this research? I've looked at uh, many things, amongst others, that I would like to, to share with you today is this particular uh, sense of home that has been recreated in a, a people's house, for example, through objects of affection, so the meaning of material culture. And the reason why they still felt attached to some of the places in Italy and they wish to age in there, mm -hmm. so this, uh, somebody are still questioning about uh, whether this is a nice place where to age or maybe not mm -hmm. and this sense of attachment therefore became really important to understand and also to somehow to raise place attachment among these people and um, one of the, the, the most important findings is that these emotional ties with places are related to social and um, social, social ties, so the sense of community, the sense of neighborhoods they recreated, the sense of home through relationships. Mm -hmm. And that's why one of the outcome of the, uh, my research project was to try to express the research findings in a creative way. And we thought that a documentary can be a nice form to promote social aspect of the environment for older people in general and aging migrants in particular. Yeah, yeah. so you've actually made a film. Yes, we mm, made yes. a film. I say we because I, thank, I like to acknowledge all the uh, working group that collaborated with me so far. Mm. Um, in particular, everybody's Caridis and Alistair Cole from the uh, Department of Film and Media. Mm. And I should acknowledge also those who made it possible. Um, the FMS, Engage FMS and the Institute of Creative Art and Products and the Film at Cultural Lab. So um, amongst many other people that collaborated through, we started filming older Italian migrants in this community setting where they used to gather since years. And um, it, it's not really much about the bingo itself, but that place become a social hub, right. so a community space where people can meet, can gather, can share uh, knowledge and, and things and, and memories. So it's the meaning of the place that become really important for um, a older Italian migrants in Newcastle. Mm. And was really funny, both from a personal and professional uh, point of view, sharing this experience with, with people. And the idea was to make visible a, a, a group of people that was invisible so far mm -hmm. and uh, give them voice to express what, what's, what's the meaning of Newcastle for them mm -hmm. and, and, and actually we mm -hmm. asked mm -hmm. exactly what I've been asked them through my uh, data collection but mm -hmm. what I want to emphasize is <laughs> the relationship that I build with them, the relationship of trust that enabled the documentary becoming something uh, really nice, yeah, I guess, yeah. to watch. Do you, do you think there's an element of um, nostalgia via reality in terms of nostalgia for the old days back in Italy, which that Italy is no longer there? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yes. There is an element of nostalgia. Uh, some people struggle to identify right now there because uh, in, in the film they are actually saying this, like they feel they are a stranger there. Mm -hmm. Again, this means how important are the social aspects of the environment here mm -hmm. and this, w what they, they created here, some consider their own uh, places such as restaurants or hairdresser parlor as places where they belong and they created connection here, mm -hmm. also through family members. Uh, so. It's not, it's not really um, a, the idea of the Italian migrants, but this gives hopes to 
many people that move from a place to another, or how possible it is to recreate a sense of home yeah. elsewhere. I, I think what it is, is maybe things which are universal, but it's more extreme, if you like, if you are a migrant like the Italian community. Uh, Simona, I'm sorry, <laughs> we, we have to cut short yeah. this because we could talk uh, so much longer but can we just finish off with talking about where people can see the film because it's right. part of the great exhibition of the north the isn't it? The film yeah. is part of the inspired by the great exhibition of the north it will take place the 31st of August it's a Friday at 6 in the Boiler House that is in the campus and tickets are free but possible to reserve them through the website Eventbrite Okay, Eventbrite, 31st of August. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Simone, you so for coming much. along.